Welcome back to Hardware Hangout. Today we will be installing this. Something I've wanted for many years. Always wanted a large flagpole in my yard to show off the American flag, but also our green and gold. So let's get to it. All right, so here's our hole. Over here is our plastic sleeve. Let's get this down centered, just about above the grass. Uh, we're gonna be pulling some pea gravel in the base for drainage. So we're gonna have to go down a little bit deeper. Also get the edges. Check our sauna tube. Looks like we could dig out the sides a little bit more, but just about there. All right. Let's get it up to the 22, 23 inch mark. Four. Okay, so got the hole dug. We are about 24 inches deep. The plastic sheathing is about 19 and three quarters inches. So sitting down there, if we put the pea gravel in, should give us the perfect height and depth. We can start adding our Sacrete. But first, I'm going to cut this bad boy to 24 inches. Let's test the fit. Oh, look at that. Now, for this, we're going to add in some pea gravel at the base for drainage. Uh, not 100% sure why, just seen a lot of videos. A lot of people saying you need some drainage and you need some concrete. So, some pea gravel. Got a plastic sleeve. Yeah, she's in there about two inches too deep. So let's add some more gravel. Just above the grass line. All right. Now we're gonna make up the concrete, get her filled in, get her plumb, and let her set. Now comes the fun part, playing with concrete. Soupy. Let's get this poured in. Right, first pour, going in hot. One thing I forgot to do is tape the edge off. bottom bubble to be straight in the center. Okay. Switch to plan B. Mm. 
much better. All right, so now, set it in the hole. Well, thanks, puppy. Got her down. I'm just gonna get her plumb. This side's good. Oh, here. She's plumb, she's level, but we need to top her off. So I think I have an extra bag of sacrate laying around. This should be enough to finish off the top. As you can all tell by my amazing concrete work, I am not a professional. Um, so instead of using a trowel, I'm just gonna use an old garden shovel that I had laying around. Try to flatten this out to make it look like a professional, knowing that I'm not. Well, there you have it. She's in. She's plumb. Now we just gotta wait for it to set. And then we gotta install. Alright, now that we have the cement cured, it's time to put together our flagpoles. So, we'll take our top, put our cap on like so. Comes with a hand dandy screwdriver. Get it threaded, tighten her down. She's tight. I ain't going anywhere. Get our bowl. We'll pull out a cord, untangle her. Get this bad boy pushed through. So, grab our American flag. Not let it touch the ground. Have our carabiners. All right, we're gonna tie off the bottom of the rope. Next, on our bottom five pole, the bottom pole, we have to install our rope security. Whatever you call this thing. So, line up the screws, the holes. A little tighten. One, two. Now comes the fun part. Okay. Now I'm gonna peel off all the stickers. And they're on there tight. Last sticker. Whoa, I need you to hold this flag. You got it? This is the most important job, don't let it touch the ground. Okay, you can let it go. Now, we need to put it in the hole. Oh my god, that's as big as a normal one. So there you have it, another successful project. We have our flagpole installed. We survived three days of 40 mile per hour winds, 
and as you can see she's still standing like subscribe fall for more